Yo, it's the holiday season, the best time of the year for students. We have no responsibilities, nothing to worry about. We can hang with friends, family, or... Oh my gosh, dude, what is going on? Oh, hell. Okay, no, no, so this is definitely wrong, this is definitely wrong. I'm making an AI Christmas game. Now, back in my day, AI stood for Allen Iverson, but now it's the only way these kids can pass high school. But that hasn't stopped it from growing. In this hit game, believe it or not, and no, it's not a 90s game show where contestants guess whether conspiracy theory is true or not, But honestly, it kind of would be. But it's a game where you go around and convince kids to believe in Santa and also fight some snowmen. So let's build it. Here's a quick idea of how the game works. You are trying to save Christmas and defeat some enemies, but also talk to some kids. You need to convince them to believe in Santa and those responses will be sent to a web server and using OpenAI, it will judge those responses and give more reasons why. So it's an argument, hey, this is why you believe in Santa, this is why you don't, keeps going, keeps going until it eventually believes. So let's build it. At first, I wasn't sure if this game was gonna be in 2D or 3D. So in the 2D version, I started by creating a Python web server. And to do that, I need to learn Flask. Now here's the thing about Flask, I don't know how to use Flask. Did a few Google search, so I got it up and running, and now I can communicate back and forth through the server. Now in this learning section of the video, I wanna spend a little bit teaching you guys about web servers. Now if you wanna skip ahead, there's a timestamp, but let's go. Once running, there are different kinds of requests. There's two main types, but there's a bunch out there. The two we're gonna use are get and post requests, which are used to get and receive information. Now you can make a bunch of these requests, and this is the basis of how internet pages work. By pressing certain buttons, it sends get and post requests and all bunch of different types to the server, and they give responses back. And in this case, we need two types, one to start a conversation and one to keep one going, both being post requests. Now, there's a lot more to learn, and in Python, you can either use Flask or Fast API, and in JavaScript, I personally like to use Express, but I know there's a bunch out there. So yeah, now we're gonna get on with the video. Okay, so coming up with a prompt is also kind of difficult. And I went through a couple attempts, and here's one response I got where the kid was saying, hey, I don't believe in Santa because of capitalism is bad and the materialistic of humanity is horrible. And I also went through a weird one with Uncle Steve, if you wanna see this real quick. Just some weird conversations that you can get into with this thing. But then I started actually creating the game and had to deal with enormous amount of errors using Unity's tile system, which absolutely sucks, or at least I don't know how to use it, but regardless, it sucks. Complete trash. Maybe it's my fault because I didn't create it correctly, but you know, I'm just gonna switch to 2D now. I can't deal with this. I only have a couple days left and it's taking too long. Well, turns out it took longer than I thought. So that's the point in which I decided to switch to 3D. So let's build it again. <laughs> the 3d version by looking for some assets on the asset store i'm gonna look for like a winter cabin theme and okay that's a little awkward just pretend that didn't happen that... Ooh, oops now we're talking then found two packages i could use spread it around the scene and created this dope winter scene looking pretty cool i created a quick movement controller that I threw under my character and now we're jumping around it's in low gravity but i don't know i can do what i want it looks kind of cool I also wanted to add shooting, so with no time or energy left, I created the worst monstrosity of a shooting script ever. And you know what, I'm just, it, I got no words. But what's the point of shooting if you can't shoot at anything? So that's when I hopped into Blender and built the first thing that came into my head, a snowman soldier. Now I think it looks really cool, and I asked you guys what I should name it, and I got one response, the Infroster. Now that is a menacing name for a special looking fella. So then I got a few animations and we got this. Okay, that, that, no, it, so it should be moving now. Dude, what is going on? Move. Okay, so it's now moving correct. I then got a few errors from the scene and Unity put me in safe mode. Like why, why would I choose safe mode? Mama didn't raise no, okay. So maybe it was a good idea to use safe mode, but regardless, I fixed a few errors and it set me back a little bit, but it's not working. So now all I need to do is create a game manager script. But before I do that, here's a quick edit of me clipping some infrosters. Enjoy. So I built this in four very unproductive days, but it ended up working. I needed to get it done before I went back to college. 
Also, if this video gets 300 likes, I'll release it for two to three days. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.